welcome. Brad's house. Nothing special. Just another dump in Long Beach. You know, I call home. Good morning. Welcome to another Brad's garage. Uh, long weekend, you guys. As you can see, I'm tired. We just got back from the FD event. I'll give you guys a kind of idea of the timeline on this. But uh, had a great weekend. I was so nice meeting everybody. Thank you guys for following and liking and being part of my show. Um, I can't wait to go do more events. <laughs> Me and Gary are going to be out there doing a bunch of stuff. We plan on bringing these cars and his cars and a bunch of other cool stuff. So, again, thank you guys for the support. Today, I need to finish this. Um, this car is in the way of that car. That car's got to get ready to go to SEMA. We have a video that we need to finish with that, as you guys know. And we're going to start with this. And that is getting this turbo back off again because I've got to weld some V-bands onto here so that we can start the exhaust and come down. As well as I have the oil feed, pretty much 90% of the oil feed stuff so that we can get the oil feed in and the oil return out. Which means the last thing we got to do is build all this intercooler and this intercooler mounting. Which means this turbo kit is done. Um, it was probably one of the easiest turbo kits I've done. They're getting to seem to be easier and easier every time we do them. But uh, this one was simple. I do need to make some kind of a bracket now. Also to hold, excuse my uh, temperature. I found this in the garage. This is it was a Brad zone and I really want to put it back in the car. It's like all old. It just looked cool in the dash. Anyways, that's wants to go back on. This, I got to build a bracket in here to hold this down to seal here. And it's gonna be tricky because I don't weld aluminum and I don't have aluminum here. So, <coughs> excuse me, my goal is to build a bar that goes across here, that bolts here and here. And then you can take this thing off and use the nut to screw it down. So that is another one of the goals that we gotta to do today. It's not very hard, but that's in my head what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a bar that goes from side to side and it's gonna pull itself down in the middle. So we got to build that, got to do this, and we got to do the oil feed line, and then this car is ready to go to the dyno to get retuned, which is like everybody's favorite headache. So stay tuned, stick with us, and uh, we're going to get started. Well, we can't run it for very long. I just spilled a little oil there, so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. We have what it sounded like before, so the difference is. Quiet. Sounds put real the nice air though. On and the... Man, I'm gonna have a sleeper. I'm sleeping all the time. <laughs> all right, let's get the intercooler mount built and let's get the top little. Who we do we do we build? The what? The who we thing you should do. I'm doing is cleaning this up because California weather has, uh, as you can tell, gotten moist. But I like the rust and the patina for the car, so I like this. I just can't have it where I'm welding. So. <laughs> this looks good for the car. This is bad for welding. Let me go grab my gloves and we'll weld this up. I need a new welder. I have to take the turbo off just to get this last little edge back here. 
don't see it happening. I think Gary's here. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the poor man cramp. Get out of here, Mr. Charlie. This is this little rib, this little tool I made. I cut the end of the electrical tool off and it makes that little rib. So it goes from this to that. I watched that on YouTube. There's a bunch of people that have done it. This would be a great job for Gary because he's a big, strong hand. Let him do it. Tabs here, tab here.
brought. I don't know if I want to go all the way down that small. I think I'm just going to leave it for now and then see if this all gets super glowing red. If it does, then I'll have to cut that off. Because it'll fuck it all up. Naturally aspirated, it was fine. <laughs> uh, no. Not doing much. <laughs> Mechanical is all shit. All right, I need to cut the next piece that's long piece because I want to use the old exhaust. So let me go and cut some of shit. I'm trying to stay California State legal. 90 dB. We're gonna go with the pre muffler system. <laughs> yes, now we're talking. Now I'm happy. Oh, actually, it's, it's fire muffler. Look at that. No, no, we're not using this one. One, two, three, four, five. Five muffler, California legal, turbo. LS Rattler. Right, right. We gotta stay within that 90 dB. That is definitely where I want it. Behind my ear. You know, not in front of it. That was one of the things I couldn't stand. Was... Last pieces are this here, which I ordered a coupling that goes from four to three to replace both of these, so we only have one coupling. And this bracket, and then we got a vacuum line here and a vacuum line there that we got to go to boost reference, which we can probably get off of the front of here somewhere. So we're gonna go chomp those out, but turbo kit complete, exhaust kit complete. Complete. It's just a bunch of little tiny loose ends. It runs. We know that. We got the five muffler system. So I believe we're gonna have to be cutting that tip off with. 
because I think it's restricting it a whole shit ton. So we'll have to work on how to get it to rev better. But uh, she's a runner. So that's a wrap. We're gonna end today. We're gonna end this program. We're gonna end this system. This uh, the day today. I mean, we got a shit ton done. We got the exhaust done, intercooler done, the bracket for the top. We've got a few oil lines and a return line, and she's going to the dyno. So I do know you won't be seeing any more of this until after SEMA, because we have a dyno date after SEMA, just because of time requirement, time requirements, time requirements, whatever, time restraints, restraints, restraints. time restraints. But we are going to get this thing done. So stay tuned and uh, watch us finish this.